Hello everyone. Today I will introduce Short and Union of our 6V. I will introduce them in two parts. First part is what's Short and Union. Second part is how to use cost term Short and cost term Union. First, what's the strict Short and Union? Here. Uh, here I list three points of cost term struct. First is uh, user. User can combine a series of library that are related but may have some uh, may have different data types into a struct. And uh, the variables in the struct don't have influence with each other. And then the last point. When defining a variable as a struct, any member of the struct can be selected when calling this variable. Uh, how to build the struct? We can look. At, uh, we can see this uh, this picture. Here I have a custom struct. We right click to build it, and uh, uh, in here custom struct, we click this button. This button to add variable, and for for all, for all the uh, variable, we also can call it as member. We can set different type of data of them, but uh, here in picture I set them as bool, but uh, exactly we can set different type of them. And here I have some uh, notice, notice about the struct. First is, struct can be nested. It means a user can define a struct as the number of another struct, just like this picture. Here, struct 1, struct 2, struct 3, struct uh, 4, and uh, struct 5. Later, I will show that in uh, software. Uh, let may be more clear. And the second second point is the max the max uh, nesting level is a uh, five level. As we can see this one, two, three, four, five. And the last struct can't be uh, nested with each other. It means, uh, for example. Uh, we, uh, we defined A as uh, struct zero, and uh, we defined B as uh, struct two. And we count, uh, we can set A as number of, uh, A as the number of B, or we can set B as the number of A member sorry member but at the same time we can't set a as member of b and set b as the number a member of a we can't do this it will have a arrow and i also will show it later so uh when when will we uh, use this struct? For example, uh, for uh, motion control, motion control function block, there will be many value, many valuable about one function block. So we can add, uh, we can create a struct, and add all the uh, valuable in this struct. And this struct is uh, is only uh, is used for for the motion motion control uh, function block. So in main program, we don't need to add so many variables. We just need to add a struct. And when bind the struct to function block, we can select the number. And the next is custom union. Uh, first, Union uh, user users can user can combine data with different type data type into a union, and uh, if uh, for example uh, the, the the member in union 
use the same memory. It means they will change together. Uh, uh, for example, you, for example, we put A and B to a to a union. Okay, and uh, we defined A as this data type int, and uh, we defined B as bool. A and B and A and B are uh, in same unit, and this is their types. So in uh, in this time, if we change A, if we change A to one, this B will turn on. And also, if we uh, reset this B, reset this bool, reset it to fall off, and at the same time. This int, this int a will change, uh, will be changed to zero. They will change uh, together because they use the same memory. And the last last point uh, is uh, is say as struct. Uh, if we define a variable as a unit, then when we call this variable. We can select any member, any member of the unit, of this unit. And here also have some knowledge about unit. First is a send and struct. Union can be uh, listed. It means user can define a unit as a member of another union. And the second, second is also send and struct. The level is max to five level. Uh, second, uh, third, third point. Union can't be uh, listed with each other. Just say that we can't uh, set unit A as a member of unit B, and at the same time, set unit B as a member of unit A. It's, it's wrong. And the last, here have uh, another point. Uh, only, only one number, only one member can be read or written at a, at a time. For example, here we have three uh, ABC, we have three member to a unit. We have three member to a unit and the list, all these three data, all these three variable is, uh, for example, is int. It's int. And at the same time, we write zero to a, and the write write one to one to b, and the write two two to c. In uh, in this condition, all the member will be set as two, because only one member can be read or written at and, uh, and the same time, and then the last number takes takes effect. So. When these three member be be written at the same time together, only the last one will take effect. So these three will be set as two. Okay. Now I will open the software. Here in project management, we can create it custom struct and uh, and a custom 
uh, unit and the instruct we can add for example here we add at uh, five member we here we add five member and uh, set the uh, set data type of LAN and by Okay, this is the uh, okay. Now uh, return to main program. Here we can add a variable. For example, this variable and uh, the type of data. We select input helper, and here we can select this uh, struct struct zero. Click OK. So now, uh, so now this variable A is a struct and in when in program look here uh, we can here if we uh, when we use uh, when we need to use a uh, a bool, a bool device. Here we can select this uh, A, A, and uh, select a number, uh, select the member, member, list member, because the list member is bool, bool, a uh, bool type. So we can select it. We can see here have many, uh, many member, but only this one is bool. So if uh, when we use a uh, uh, when we use a bool type data, we can select only this one. If here we add, a, for example, we change this two, this two to bool. And uh, now we can we have uh, three selection. Okay. So uh, this A is a struct, and this uh, new uh, new variable, new variable one, two, three, four, this five, this five is the member of this struct. So in in main program, we only need to add one variable, and then when call this variable, we can select the the member of the of, of this struct. We don't need to add so many uh, so many variable in main program if we have many many variable we can use this struct and this, uh, to make the main program look more uh, more convenient so here we don't need to add so many variable okay this is the how to uh, how to create it available and uh, select it. And the next for example here we can add another two selection and the in oh, sorry another two struct and the struct one we add two variable. First is bool and the second we select it as. Uh, struct zero. Also in struct two, we also add two variable. Oh, sorry. Here, struct zero. And this is for struct two, we also add two variable. First is this one, and the second is struct one. So now we have a ref ref relationship uh, struct zero, uh, struct one, and then struct two. Like this relationship. And for this relationship, uh, as I said, we can make uh, 
max uh, max to five level. Okay. <clears throat> if uh, so now here, for example, in this condition, here we can, uh, here, delete this. Now we de uh, defined A as uh, structure, structure two. So for now we can, Well, now we can, uh, for this A, we can select uh, all these member. Okay. And uh, if we, uh, let's add this. Even the uh, nested nested relationship is to uh, is uh, bigger than five. Here we have an uh, error. I will show you. Construction. Uh, now when we combine it will uh, display it successfully but if we if we use uh, if we use this struct this six here we have an arrow to so we'll show uh, it will show this arrow. List struct six too many nesting times, so we can add the max to five five level. Okay, and for another point, uh, another limit of the struct. For example, here in struct zero and uh, struct one, we set. In struct zero, we set struct one as an, as the number of this uh, struct zero, and in struct one, we we set struct zero as the member. Here we have a list zero. Okay. And now I will introduce how to use union. Let's add another union. For union, uh, union uh, zero, we add five. Uh, we add four member, and uh, 
set the as int. And in main program, we we'll add a variable and uh, set the type of this variable as is union to zero. Uh, do you have any question? Oh, sorry. Here we use different value. For now, all this, uh, all this, uh, all this member, all this member is zero, and if I, if I change uh, member one, this member one is one, we can see all other member will change to one, and also if I change uh, members three to three, and all other member will change to three together. We will change together. And if I I change uh, member zero to zero and the change uh, member one, member one to one, we can see this member one is uh, taking effect because uh, for the for the order for the order of this two member mem uh, member one is the last one, so this uh, it will take it will take effect. And if I change, if I change member two to two, we can see all member will be changed to because for now, this member two is the last one. And also, it will change to three when I, all, all member will change to three when I uh, set, when I set members three as three. That's the relationship between the unions between the union. And also, a same as uh, struct, a uh, union can, can list it ma uh, max to five level. And we can't uh, define the unions uh, each other. For example, define union zero as a member of unit one. And define unit one as a member of unit zero, it will have an error. <clears throat> 